World champion Alvaro Bautista is considered one of the top five 125cc riders in the world. His friends and family's loyalty has been a crucial part of Alvaro Bautista's career as world champion. Oscar meets up with Alvaro, and he reveals a few family secrets that influenced his impressive career. Today we are in Talavera de la Reina. It's the town of Alvaro Bautista. This is incredible life so fast. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How are you? We'll witness Alvaro Bautista's training sessions and learn all about the great champion's personal life. But first, we'll pay him a visit at home where he prepares for another day's work. Thank you for invite to your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. But How yeah. many years are you in the World Championship? I started in 2003, so 12 years. Yeah. I started with you, you remember, in 2003. Yeah. I and remember this year because from one to five. seven races in the Spanish Championship, you won everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I raced together World Championship and the Spanish Championship. And then you are ready today. Yeah, yeah, we are ready and we are a bit yes. late, so let's, let's go, go to okay? pick up the, uh, the bikes. Yeah, thank you for the orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go to work. Okay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> for sure today I crash because I'm nervous. Sure he crashed. Bad luck, shut up. <laughs> nah. Alvaro's career began thanks to his father's motorcycling passion. Javier was also a rider and now has his own motorbike shop. Without his family's encouragement and support, today we wouldn't be enjoying Alvaro's success on the tracks. Motorcycling is in his DNA. <laughs> I remember the first time here in 2002, more or less. 15 years later, we come back again to see the grand Javier. The great father. It's been so long. <laughs> Alvaro grew up surrounded by wheels, filters, carburetors, clutches. Well, look at that. This when the start, I remember he there, he had the sponsor Atletico de Madrid, the football team. As a child, his father taught him the mechanics of the motorbikes he was repairing. He would also transform other bikes to make them more effective. This was Alvaro's school. This is made for him completely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a different suspension. He, he, he take a motocross bike and he changed the, the suspension. He put a Yamaha R6 suspension. 600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also he make all the all the plastics. Also oh. the exhaust pipe is uh, all uh, made by fa by hand. Uh -huh. made by father and everything is made by him. With Alvaro's career rising to the top, his father keeps a close watch over his safety. Look at that. This is for the track made by my father. Wow. This is incredible. It's iron. His father made for him. You put this one in the boot because normal you are always with the feet oxide, you know? But only in the left side. Javier designs exclusive mechanisms, an expert mechanics inventions manufactured for a track expert. This is made for your father because nobody... Yeah, it, you, no? you, can, you can't buy on the shop. Alvaro has received his daily dose of family support. Maybe it's, the, it's not the first time put the, 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 the bikes on the van, eh? <laughs> It's time to prepare the machines he uses to train with daily. We move on to the motocross dirt track. There, he meets up with his other family, his track comrades. This is the real life of the, of the rider, eh? It's the, our normal life behind the World Championship, you know? Because in the TV, you can see only the, yes. the good scene. Come on, not only is the super tracks, not only the umbrella girl. No. <laughs> no the, uh, this is the hard life also. Hola, buenos días. Hola. Hey. Hey. This is Alvaro's girlfriend. Great. Hi. I like my life. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Comradeship can be found on the tracks. Riders who tomorrow will be fighting to win, today share opinions, advice, conversation and jokes. 
Alvaro's the motor behind this comradeship between rivals. I train with, uh, with some riders like uh, Juanjo or Dani or Maria that uh, they are younger than me and they have the, like, the young motivation no? and also help me to, to feel more, like, more young no? when, when I can ride with, with them. We meet some of Alvaro's comrades. Come here. This is our other top rider in the Spanish history. Pablo Nieto, son of the legendary Angel Nieto, and with an amazing rider's career, is the fabulous Valentino Rossi's current team manager. I'm happy for stay here with us. <laughs> now Pablo is working with, uh, I don't know if you know the name, it's Valentino Rossi. He's working for him. Uh, incredible project, no, Pablo? Yeah, it's incredible. We are very, very happy to work with uh, Valentino and in the Moto3 team with uh, Romano Fenati and, and Andrea Migno. So it's a pleasure to work with them. It's a very nice project and we will see what happens this year. How many years you finished your career uh, about riders? I finished six years ago. Uh, my last year was in KTM with uh, 125 and I make uh, 10 years uh, the world champion, so it's, it's not bad. I'm happy. Not so bad, eh? <laughs> How many podiums? 10 podiums and one victory. Okay. Maria Herrera is the first woman to win a race at an international championship. Now she trains hard to continue on the champion's path. It's the first time a woman rider wins a race at an international championship, like you did at CV Repsol, right? Well, yes, we worked hard that year to be able to win the championship, but after final fall, I couldn't. But anyway, I'm very happy with that year, and now we're fighting to win. You've made history, right? Yes, I made history by winning the first one, and now we've repeated a few times, so I'm happy. Julian Simon is world champion. His recent and amazing wins confirm he'll continue bringing joy to the fans. Yes. That was fun, right? This is the first time for you yes. in this track, no? In this track, it's my first time also with another bike. It's not no my bike because it's a different bike. But anyway, it's really fun. It's, uh, Sliding is good for, for training, for, uh, then for GP, so I'm really happy for, for my, my experience in the first time here. No, you are not slowly, eh? No, I, I like the, the same feeling of motocross, so it's, it's really, really good for me. you have less grip, no, the front yes. tire, because you use a different tires. It's uh, very, very difficult because no, no grip is a little... Uh, Dry condition is necessary a little bit more water. Anyway, it's uh, really fun and it's good for for training. Uh, the sliding in the front and the sliding in the rear is necessary moving in the in the, the in bike. the bike uh -huh. for for have the the control. No? The comradeship atmosphere prevails on the tracks. Let's try Alvaro's bike for super slowly, eh? no, no racing. Oscar gets too carried away with this atmosphere and his good mood leads him to forget about the risks. It's okay, be careful because you can finish like that. After the hard training session, they have to regain strength. Food on the table and spiritual nourishment with love from his friends and family. This is the most important moment in a training day. This is all hospitality, all the family. This is the lunch time. Just only one thing before break. There you go, guys. One, two, three. Tell me one nice thing and one bad thing about your experience in the World Championship. Well, I think that all the bad things to, you try always to, to forget, but I think my worst moment in the, in the World Championship is when I broke my femur in Qatar in 2011. 
the, the World Championship went to the other race and I stayed there no, for one week and it was really bad moment for me. Good moment? I don't know. I have a lot of good moments. Maybe my dreams come true when I won the, the World Championship in Australia. You remember, you, you were there with me. I thought in me, in the sponsor, in the friend, but especially in, in my family. Because my family always support me from the beginning, from the first time I ride a bike. My family, my father, my, my mother, my sisters. Just in the moment that you cross the, the line, what do you feel? In that moment, I thought, OK, I won the race. When, when I start to see my mechanic, my friend, all the paddock waiting for me, entering the pit lane, so I start to, to feel like, ah, I'm, I'm world champion, I'm world champion, no? And it was incredible. Alvaro's wins wouldn't have been made possible without the help from his friends and family. This love is the fuel Alvaro uses to achieve success. And there's no doubt he has a full tank. Hey, guys. Finish for today training. See you next time, OK? Ciao, ciao. Kiss. <laughs>